I'll start a double fisting. It is time. It is time to brew your best beer. Hard work is tasting, isn't it? Hey, right? tasting all these beers. It's probably even harder work watching the videos. Going, mm, I wish I could taste that. Brought well. to you by Beer Greens Supply Company, Brew Tubers Online Brewers Club, Brew UK, Panhead Brewery, Tanner Ritchie, Finney's Homebrew Emporium, Brig Selv. Hackney Brewery, Hashigo Saki, Mangrove Jacks, Sprig and Fern Tavern, Yakima Valley Hops. Well, 20 other New Zealanders are tasting exactly the same beer that I'm going to be tasting right now, or have tasted it. That is the great thing about the SJ Poor Challenge, is that you have so many palates tasting the same beers and tasting lots of different beers that you get a broad spectrum of tastes and impressions which is really cool but anyway i am having right now the south coast brewery vanilla pod porter label out for the glasses Ooh. It's a bit faint. Heads forming up nicely. Oh, it's a different colour. That's not the kind of colour that I expected. It looks a little bit, a little bit muddy. Just a little bit of a muddyish sort of colour. But the head's nice and tan. Beige. That's what she said. Beige. Yeah, it's beige. Oh. Oh. Can smell the vanilla. Alright. To the scoreboard. I'll be back. Right, I've started double fisting. I need my butt plug glass so that I can get the aroma out um, because the pipe glass just is not handling um, some of the low carbonation that's in some of these beers. Whereas the butt plug is recreating that heat, then I can start to really get into that aroma. Compared to the pipe glass, which I can't smell any aroma in at all. So glassware is important to try and get the most out of the beer. Right, back to the scoring. Interesting. The colour lacks oomph. It doesn't yell out to me. It's like it's feels like it's a little bit muddy, a little bit. Um, uh, dishwaterish, you know that that result of lots of things happening in it, but but not polished, just just flat. Um, the vanilla flavour in there is really, really, really prominent, um, and it's it tastes a bit more prominent than what it really should be. Like it's. Um, like it's masking a average beer instead of enhancing a great beer. Um, so it's not balanced well in the beer. The really, really nice thing that, that popped out and hit me was milk bottle lollies. You know, those little lollies that look like milk bottles. I could get that sort of flavor coming out of that beer and I was like, oh, that's quite interesting. And that was something different. Um, it's quite nice. But it's, I think it's very, very vanilla forward. There's a little bit too much vanilla in there and not enough malt to back it up. But yeah. Other than that, milk bottles. Yum. Cheers. Have yourself another one.